need a good laugh. I'm holy Are we live, Dave? You need a good bath. <laughs> That's me. Perfume. You had a nightcap. Now how about that? Oh. You weren't on the news. I got a new friend, a perfect stranger. He's got a bullet with your name in the chamber. I'm body organ, rearranger. You feel my danger. Why can I never find it? Like a well oiled machine, I tell you. I'm not kidding. What time is it? It's noon time. Welcome to the oh, noon show idea. with Jay Dobbs and Rocky. We're broadcasting and Gina. from the podcast with, with a G. studios in Royal Oak, Michigan. Be sure to find us at podcastdetroit.com. Oh, Didn't Gina G do that for you? It's noon time. What's that? What? Didn't Gina G do that for you? Ah, just a little bit. Ah, uh, a little bit more. I'm probably going to find this. 90s dance song. Oh, 90s. That, that was me. Now the world is going to be. Everybody knows now. Everybody's going to Oh, I'm so confused. You're listening to the Happy time? Hump Day. Hey, Y'all ain't paying attention over there. Hey. <laughs> Somebody turn off your phone. Hey, phones. Gina with the G. It's Gina you. with the G. Gina with the G. The G is Shh. silent. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ina? Is right. it pronounced Ina? Ina. Let's oh, pronounce it oh, Ina. No, well, there's a line from Wicked. It's like, the, it's like a soft G. Gina. <laughs> <laughs> No, there's nothing <laughs> soft about you, Gina. Well, I, have a, I have a soft end. You have a soft end. <laughs> you have a soft end. <laughs> Wait, I want to know, is it an N or N? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Stand for up. For me to know, for you to find out. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. It's hump day. Whoop, it whoop. is. All right. So what's going on, girls? <sighs> yeah, not too much. Lots of things. Oh. Things. Yeah. 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 Why are you looking at me like yeah. that? Yeah. Is it a <laughs> holiday you? today? Oh, oh, it is. <laughs> oh. It's uh, the holiday that represents our relationship the best. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> National <laughs> Tug of War Day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cheers to wow. that, Rocky. Yeah. Oh, oh, that don't work. Work. Tug of War Day. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's yeah. some Tug of War Day. Well played. Well played. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that yes. came right on time, didn't yeah, it? That was good. Okay, so for our Black History Month. Whoop, whoop. Where's my bell at? I like you to have yeah, my little bell. Oh. Oh, you ring my bell. Oh. You <laughs> ring it. Ring my bell. Okay, so we are honoring Zelda Wynn Valdez. She was um, a fashion designer and costumer. She was the creator of the original Playboy outfit. Whoa. Really? Ooh. Yes. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes. And she was the first black woman to, uh, well, the first black person to have a, her own shop. Wow. Oh, cool. It was on Broadway and I think 58th Street. Wow. And uh, she dressed uh, Marian Anderson, Dorothy Dandridge, Josephine Baker, Arthur, Arthur Kitt, Ruby D, Diane Carroll, Mae West, and Marlena Dietrich. Oh, wow. wow. And a lot of others. Mm-hmm. So she, she said that she had the, the neck to dress people with curves because she took um, Ella Fitzgerald. Where is she now? I know. I know. I I need somebody. (laughs) Ella Fitzgerald, she only um, measured her once. She could, she said she could look at her, you know, she was on TV Mm -hmm. or where, and Mm -hmm. she could tell, you know, she gained here or she, you know, and wow, she would just, really? wow. yeah. Do you really want good. anybody Amazing. to know that about you? Well, <laughs> I mean, I mean, if she, I mean, yeah. if she could dress you, you know, and make you look right. flattering, yeah. Yeah. which is right. what she did, yeah. right. you know, and right. she also trained as a classical pianist. Oh, wow. Really? Yes. Wow. So she was very accomplished. Wow. Nice. Very, very good nice. choice. Yeah. Yeah, good but choice. let's be honest. I don't want anyone meaning you three, to, <laughs> to 
you look at me and go, mm, girl, mm. <laughs> we wouldn't we do, do that. We do that every week. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would never. Do. I would never. I don't know. I know about these you people. would. I would never. I know you. Hair, I know you romance yeah. going on. Yeah. You know, my mom, my mom mm-hmm. was a seamstress and, you know, yeah, she, that's and she right. did the curve thing too, you know, so. Right, hey. yeah. well, Back in the so day I would too, never say it was, it, the curves were. Well, they're yeah. back. Yeah, they are, are back. back. I was going to say, I like to think that the curves are still back. Yeah, they, yeah. Are. Oh, they are. They are. <laughs> yes, they oh, are. That's what I'm They're never away. going away. No. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mama, and, and you know, mama, she all... <laughs> I'm a little long. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. She also said that, um, you know, most designers, designers, would, you know, it's the seamstress that really creates everything, mm-hmm. and then they get the credit for it, you know, mm-hmm. so... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, and you know what? Think about it. Like, I bought a dress before and thought, eh, it's okay. But then you take it and you have it, yeah. you know, yeah. altered you do or tailored stuff to, or, yeah. you know, made right. to fit you. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, my gosh, this looks so good. Which, wow. which is, it's sad in the same time because you can't just buy it and it fit you. You have mm-hmm. to go and do stuff to it. Right. So, yeah, but right. I think that's got to be so hard as a designer, though, when everybody's body shape is literally different. Like, there's yeah. no two that are the same. So yeah, right. to make clothes mm-hmm. generically that, yeah. you know, ex- she, I think you got to make them for the masses. And then right. Yeah, her, her, gowns, then her, her gowns sold for like $1,000 back in back, like wow. 1950s. You wow. Know, wow. That was really? a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. That was a lot of money. Wow. Yeah. I don't she, care. It's still to buy a gown I for know. $1,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah. Back then. <laughs> it's way a lot of money. Yeah. And, and no know, gowns for that. She did um, the whole wedding for Nat King Cole. Like, oh, wow. really? Wedding. The whole wedding party and wow. all of that. Yeah. Wow. So she was, she was a boss. Oh, how mm-hmm. cool! Good oh, choice. Awesome. Very good. awesome. Good choice. So, um, okay, real quick, um, myth or truth? Uh. Do you guys think that a full moon mm-hmm. brings out the yes. crazy? Yes. Oh, let me yes. finish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait. Do you? Yes. Do you really? Yes. yes. But how, do, so do you keep track of when there's a full moon? Or do I you can just, sense it. You, you can you sense can? it. Yes, I yeah. can. Because I like, because me personally, I'll be like, oh, like more emotional or something. And or like, I'll be more sensitive. And then I'm like, why do you am I check like, to see if it's a full moon? Yeah, and then I'll like, I'll peek outside. And go, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. there it is. That's or, the or I'll walk outside, like I'm going outside yeah. to the car or something, and I'll happen to look up and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> like that. yep. when, oh, okay. I, when I was in the classroom, when as a classroom teacher, oh my gosh, you'd be like, oh, these kids are off the wall. Oh, it's the full moon. Really? Oh, mm-hmm. oh most definitely. You're like, full moon, only make it worse by a party day and Friday the 13th. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just have the trifecta of <laughs> here. Good Lord. <laughs> Shoot me now. Yeah, oh, no, is that why you went to China? <laughs> that's why I went to China, yeah, because their full moon is already gone. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, and you know what? The other thing, in, in I have a beagle, and um, in her life, she's 15 and a half, almost 16, but she seems to be more, like, more animated, and she will, like, bark more at night, and I've always, and I've correlated it to the full moon. Mm, really? Wow. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. See, so, well, everybody think, knows. Mm. I do think. What about you? Yeah. Well, I say the same thing, but mm-hmm. I did... Um, look it up, and they are saying that there's no real evidence. Well, they're wrong. They're, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what the experts say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Based well, on this panel. Yeah, no, but, but here's the thing. I'm psychotic I, when the full moon is happening, and I'm telling you it's happening right the now. Bell? Right. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Well, no, but here's the interesting thing. Listening to you guys is it's almost like if, if there is a full moon, we all accept the crazy. Because you guys were all saying mm, we yeah, look at it and go, oh, okay, it's a full moon. So it's like, oh, okay, so they yeah, stab me. It. It's a full moon. Right. It's okay. Well, I mean, I that's don't think, a, I don't I'm, think we're accepting the crazy. I think it's an excl- an explanation as to why. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know the, the yes. things happening. Things yeah. are happening. happening. You know, yeah. and I think there was something. You know, they talk about like Mercury going to retrograde. Oh yeah. And yeah. yeah. Technology, yeah. and you're like, why is everything I own technology just? You know, not working and mm-hmm. <gasps> that's what it is with my phone. Yes, oh that's yeah, no it. moon. No, <laughs> it's Mercury no. in retrograde. That's why the noise. No, <laughs> no, no. As Nona would say, no, no. no. And then she not would say, stupid, stupid. <laughs> no, she. Shout out to Nona. I love you. I love yeah. you, Nona. <laughs> okay, uh, I gotta she, ask did this she quick question. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 not this time. I, I got to ask this quick question. 
There, I just saw this. There is a website where they they have people send their pictures in, mm-hmm. and like right now they're saying that the um, Irish people are are ugly. What? <laughs> Wait, what? What's the? What do you mean? What kind of website? What I, I don't know if it's 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 like just send your picture in, and I guess they're like they, all nationalities or whatever, and they're like saying that the they're Irish deciding if you're. Like based not on re- not really. I guess that when they got stuff? everybody together, and you know they have all the Irish people and all, and they're saying that they're the ugliest people. Oh I'm my like, god! Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the the late night guy? Is it Conan who's got the red hair? Yes, yes. He did. They talked about this. Did they, they? Did a genea- they did like a genealogy uh-huh. thing, you know, like a, and, and he said you're they. They were like, "You're a hundred percent Irish," and he was like, "Oh, okay." They're like, "No, you don't understand. You're a hundred percent Irish," and he was like, "I don't understand." And they're like, "If you're a hundred percent Irish, that means there's some incest happening." Oh! Like, and so he was like, "So he was talking about that on his show," and I was like dying laughing. It was so oh funny. Was like, well, oh I've been God. to Ireland. It is a beautiful country, uh-huh. and the food. Surprisingly, because being Italian, you know, mm, yeah. the food is actually really good. Did you have Very some, uh, what is that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> some shepherd's pie. Shepherd's oh, pie. shepherd's pie is I wonderful. I did. You know what, though? I'm a big fan of fish and chips. So oh, me yeah. Too. Oh, oh, yeah. So yeah. I may have been in, in Ireland, you know, like nine or 11 days, and I may have eaten fish and chips like most of the time. I did the same in England. I did the same in England. It was like yeah. fish and chips everywhere. Yeah, it was. And it was, <laughs> it was so, so yeah, good. Was and good. everyone was like a little bit different. So I'm yeah. a connoisseur of fish and chips. <laughs> well, you know, they serve them with mushy peas in England. Oh, they were like, oh, would you really? like, would you like mushy peas? Would you I'm like mushy peas? And I'm like, uh, keep those. No. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, or, or did you try them? No. no. I, no. I don't like peas. No. And then you have to have milk in your tea, too. Or they'll look at you like weird. Oh, no, I, I, I was like, oh, I'll have that. a cup of tea. And she brought it with milk. And I was like, oh, oh, yeah. oh I, mm-hmm. I, I didn't want milk in it. And she's like, you know. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> Appalled. Okay. You got cut from the right? royal family. Yeah. <laughs> Is that how that happens? Yeah. That's how it happens. No tea. So Dominic, your nephew, my is nephew. In shout Italy. out to my nephew. Yes. Still in Italy, still having the time of his and life. And he started a Facebook page with what he eats. Instagram. There. Instagram. Oh, Instagram. An Instagram page. Yep. Dom oh, okay. eats. Dom eats Italy. Or yeah. Dom, yeah. Oh, and it yeah. shows like him eating Italian food. We're just sitting there looking at it. Drooling. I, oh. I kind of do drool. Yeah. I uh. check it every day and look to look to see. So yeah, he's yeah. doing a study abroad and he's in college and he's you know living the Italian life like. Who doesn't, nice. you know? So jealous. Um, yeah, he's having a great time traveling and <sighs> studying, of course. Because mm. yeah, of, you know, uh-huh. of course. His parents are listening. And so, oh, they are? Uh, <laughs> sure. yes. right. Studying. Yeah. Studying. Great. Yep. He may have wanted to extend his trip, and so, uh, you know, I told you he's not coming back. I know, that's what I tell my sister There's all the time. no way. Yeah. So. Um, okay, so a couple shout outs real quick. Mm-hmm. Psyched by MG Woo-hoo-hoo. is officially on yes. Podcast Detroit. Yay. Yes. So we're very excited. Um, I can't wait to listen to that. And also a shout out to the Man Cave Happy Hour for all you guys that want to tune into to this. go uh, to the Man Cave. Yeah. yeah. Want to go to the yes. Man Cave. That's yes. another cool podcast. Mm-hmm. And also uh, Mark Marin, one of our good friends from Local Scream, is in a band called Four Guns. And Ooh. they are performing April 10th at the Hitchin Post. Mm. So I can't wait to go see that. Awesome. Anyway. Now we have a really cool guest in the house. I'm we so excited <laughs> about this interview. <laughs> Look at all. Yeah. Right it's like, who are you talking about? We got to get to this. <laughs> okay. I all guess right, we got to get to it. Oh. <laughs> I, guess, <laughs> I guess our host We're is. ready. Get ready. Because here I come. come. I'm on my way. There get you go. Ready. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening to The Nooner Show. We appreciate your support. And we hope you get inspired to take a leap of faith. Don't forget to subscribe to The Nooner Show wherever you listen to podcasts. You can like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram at The Nooner Show. Our show today is sponsored by The Parlor in Hadley, Michigan, a music-themed pizzeria where pizza rocks. Also, check out Happy Days Records and more, a new music slash clothing store, and so much more located at 1801 West Genesee Street in Lapeer, Michigan. And from the makers of Dope Water, if you can be anything, why not be dope? That's right. <laughs> This segment is designed to showcase the stories of talented individuals who had a wish and found a way to make it happen. They set goals, overcame obstacles, and turned setbacks into comebacks. Their stories are unique, interesting, and most of all, inspiring. As we know, I am the newest to this team. (laughs) And for several years, Jackie would ask me to come be on the show, and I would say no. (laughs) You know, even though she would beg and plead and, you know, 
Offer cry, me great things. Cry. Remember that, yeah. but yeah. I'll okay. pay you a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but it was an opportunity that she had asked several times, and I mm. always, you know, I always turned it down. I said, no, no, thank you. I don't think this is for me. But finally, the opportunity again, she asked, and I, I accepted that, that offer. And you know what? It has been such, so, um, such a great experience, and I enjoy it. And I think Good. many of us in life, we have opportunities that present ourselves, and for one reason or another, mm-hmm. we decide that. You know, it's not the opportunity for that. Not the not the time or not the opportunity we want to take. And our guest today, mm-hmm. our <laughs> guest today, he... I got a bell. <laughs> <laughs> John Rios, you can relate to this. Yeah. You yeah. love to draw. Yes. And during a lunch break, I hear, one day, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, you acted on this feeling and you made, you made the decision that would ultimately change the course of your life. True. You had a dream and you made it happen. True. Today, yeah. you are living your dream, and you're the fo- founder of John Rios Design mm-hmm. Artwork, incredible artwork, and you've been nationally recognized as an artist to for the go-to guy for musicians. Wow. Mm-hmm. Famous musicians. Yeah. Famous <laughs> musicians. Yeah. Alice Cooper, Janet Jackson, Kelvin Harris, and Lizzo. Mm-hmm. Oh, and a, a bazillion. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you, uh, just to, just to name a few. Yeah. Just to name a few. So we welcome you welcome. to the Nooner thank Show. You. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure hey. to be here. So thank excited you, you. about this. Mm-hmm. Um, so you were here, I think it was episode 31. So it was like oh, wow. early days, early mm-hmm. days. And yeah. I'll tell you, your story stuck with me. And oh. it, there's so many times that like when I want to push myself out of my comfort zone, I want to right. stay in that safe zone, I will sit and think WWJRD. What would John Reels do? <laughs> Seriously. That's I how... often wonder what John <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. So, first, what am I going to do? So here's what I, we're going to kind of go back and forth with you because sure. we do have to get to that beginning and that life changing decision that sure. you made. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want to first start off with uh, Lizzo. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Gina, just in case you didn't know who Lizzo was, I know right. you know it's who so she funny. is. I oh, have seen beautiful. that before. Beautiful cover. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. So what exactly are sure. you doing? Well, I, I uh, she just uh, did a tour uh, last I think the middle, late summer maybe, uh, she had a, a a gentleman approached me who I've worked with before for other bands like, you know, Avenged Sevenfold, whatever, and uh, he he uh, he called me and said, listen, I've got this job for this lady named Lizzo, and I said, who? <laughs> <laughs> you never, did? Never heard of her. Never heard of her. Really? Never yeah. heard of Imagine her. Imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> At the time, I had never heard of her. But, yeah. you know, yeah. as with, I, I should be called the owl because most of the time when people... <laughs> Call me that. I go who? I go, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but literally, I, I didn't know who it was. So you know, he told me it was more about for me. It's about the concept that he approached me with, and uh, they had a, a vision, if you will, to do some kind of a, a church type uh, stained glass scenario behind her. She had a show at Radio City Music Hall, which started her tour last. I, I, I forget the the month, but at any rate. Uh, they kind of, as usual, approached me last minute and said, "Wow, really?" Yeah, it it, it was really, really tight turnaround. Uh, it was, uh, I think, it might have been the tightest turnaround I've ever done for any band. I think it was wow. like from the time I got the job and started c- doing concepts to the time it was at Radio City was one week. <gasps> wow! Oh, and my. that's wow. and that's starting. That's you know, designing all night long, reworking it. Changing all the color schemes, mm. sending proofs back and forth. Oh my god! And that, that I was up. You know, it's. I mean, it's nothing. If you, you know, where I live, you, you drive by the house and you'll see this little glow coming out of the window. That's me, <laughs> with blood coming out of my eyes. You know, at two o'clock in the morning. You know. So what did you design though? Yeah. Is it, it the, was the, the backdrop? Yes, or? it's uh, the backdrop. Uh, it's it's a scenario. I forget the signs, but I think it's like uh, twenty six feet tall by forty feet wide or something and it was these uh these actually it, it's a uh, the way that one worked as I remember right uh it's uh it's broken into three sections so that uh, the two sections kind of overlapped and the middle section it's all stained glass and it sat back so there was an area for them to walk out on oh, stage okay. behind the DJ table yeah. wow so it was this metal kind of uh 
it's a metal, uh, like gold metal structure that would be for the stained glass windows to lay in. And then I designed all the patterns with hearts and, oh, you know, wow. made it an original original piece of art so mm-hmm. that it, you know, it was her thing. And I took her logo and spun it around in the middle so it wow. kind of was the centerpiece. And, uh, wow. and yeah, they, I mean, started, I mean, uh, one evening uh, it started drawing and uh, uh, shot designs back and forth. They, they wanted to go with color. They wanted it real vibrant. And then we came back and just did these black stained windows with the only color being these red hearts in the middle. And uh, she ran with it for a tour for about, I don't know, uh, maybe four months. So like that kid's wow. that stage set goes with her. Mm-hmm. Goes with her yeah. to all the, yeah. okay. wow. Everything I wow. everything I do for a band is you know mm-hmm. tours, you know I'll yeah tours wherever starts anywhere in the world. Now so. I know wow. that you've gone to some of the concerts mm-hmm. and had VIP treatment yep. and uh, <laughs> so you were you were able to sit there and look at. At the stage, yeah. at, you know. That's, yeah. I, I understand a lot more about stages than I ever knew before. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, yeah, I literally had to learn downstage and yeah. upstage and, you know, what side fills are for the sound and where all these things get placed, uh, you know, on the stage. I do a little bit of set design here and there, too. So mm-hmm. did, you, wow. did you ever think when you started, like, this was a yeah. venue you uh-huh. wanted to uh, go into or? I, you know, I always... Uh, my passion has always been music, so I thought I was going to be a musician at one point. And like oh. my my dad, God bless him, you know, took his meager salary and took me over to Greenville and got me a guitar on my 16th birthday. And wow. uh, you know, God bless his heart, you know, because I mean, oh, I didn't. Okay. He, I just knew that it was something to do with art and music. Oh, okay. Wow. But at the time, there's no such thing as a, a, mm-hmm. a personal computer or the internet, mm-hmm. you know. So how you make a living doing that, you, you right. might do album covers, I guess, because that's what we had then, you know. Yeah. Or, or you might, I don't know. Uh, well, let's go back now to sure. the story. Sure. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I got one question. Oh. <laughs> okay. I wanna, hold on. Yeah. I want to know, you know, she was... Jackie was just saying that you get the VIP treatment and you're sometime. sitting out sometime and you're looking. Do you ever yeah. sit there and think to yourself, oh, I could have did something different than nope. that? Okay. <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. No, yeah, I, uh, you know, you're second Oh, guess. see, I, I yeah. would, uh, my Me question too. would be, I do you look guess. at it and just want to tell everybody around you? Oh, I see. I'm, 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 I did that. Hello. You get a, I went to a, drink. <laughs> yeah. I go to concerts and sometimes I take my buddies and, you know, I'm like, I did that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but uh, and they know that's why right, we're there. Right, right, right. right. Uh, yeah, I'm like a ki- you know, uh, I sit in front of a computer and like me and my dog, <laughs> and we're there all day. And my wife is kind enough, God bless her, uh, to bring me Hi, meals Denise. and stuff. <laughs> love you, de- love you, baby. <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, sh- literally, uh, I sit there for hours, so it's this complete solitude, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I see it on a computer screen, so then it gets, you know, sent to a Dropbox. It's downloaded in California, and these wonderful people like So What out in California uh, uh, output it and sew it into 10-foot s- strips or put 10-foot strips together into whatever it is, 40, 60, 80 feet, and uh, uh, then it goes off to tour the world. So wow. I, That's amazing. So cool. Yeah. It's, well, for me, when I see it, it's like the last time I saw it, it was this big on yeah. my computer screen. Yeah. And, and yeah. now, you know, there's, you know, Johnny Depp or Alice Cooper or yeah. somebody wow. standing in front of this thing that was wow. just on my screen over there in Hadley. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm like, oh, That's man. amazing. That is so <laughs> That's great. Check- when I you get- started, did you use technology to... Uh, started doing this type of thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yes. Yes. It was... Uh, I've been working uh, digitally since 1995, 96. Okay. Wow. We so. have to get to okay. the story, now though. Okay. Let's get to the story. Okay, and I'm we're going to just take it from uh, when you, um, not the Army, the Marine. Yes. Right? Sure. Yep. And then you were working for, you were, what, uh, 1920, 21, something like that, or a little bit older? Oh, when, yeah, you were, when I got out of the service? Yeah. Uh, what was I, 23? Okay. Uh, something like that. Okay, and you were just working odd jobs. Yep, I was. Uh, I was actually, you know, I got out and I became a security guard, and then I did a building maintenance uh, in Southfield, and I was listening to WRIF, and uh, once a year he used to have Ted Nugent in, mm-hmm. and he'd do like a, a little thing for a week. Uh, he'd do a morning show, so he's signing off at about I don't know 
1230 or something and I'm on lunch and I stop and I'm like, I know where, you know, Riff is. I'm going to run over there and meet <laughs> Ted because when I was growing up, I mean, it was yeah. Aerosmith, Ted Nugent, Kiss. Yeah. And then the rest of the world didn't matter. Right. You know, so I have to go meet him. So I went over wow. there and just, uh, <laughs> uh, I, so I, he took his time coming out. I'm late going back to work. I didn't care. And uh, Now, were there other people there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Waiting? oh okay. Oh, so, yeah. so this was a thing he was coming out to yeah, yeah. sign autographs. Well, he, he had or... to leave. And oh. A lot of people <laughs> know where it is. <laughs> Black, yeah, you know, so so a, little, guy, a little stalkerish. All right. But so he was guy, like, I'm going to see right. him. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, okay. there's a girl, you know, she, he's signing her butt or something. Yeah. And, yeah. and, uh, and a guy pulls up in his Bronco, opens the door, and he signs the dash. You wow. Know? Okay. Wow. So okay. I'm, I'm just like one of those people like, you know, there he is. I, mm-hmm. I mean, it, I'd never seen a celebrity before. I'm yeah. from a small town. And there's, you know, one of my idols. And like, so I just kind of walk up to him and just shook his hand and said, hey, Ted, I'm an artist. Uh, I'd like to do some work for you if you're interested. He said, send me some stuff. So I spent about two weeks drawing these caricatures of Ted, mm. threw them in the mail. And two weeks later, I'm checking my voicemail from work. And it, it's Ted Nugent wow. left, called me personally. He's like, John, I got your artwork. I love it. I want to wow. put you in my magazine. And I'm like screaming in my wow. office. <laughs> and everybody comes, what's wrong? Man? So listen to this. Wow. It's oh. huge. So, so oh when, you sent, when, you, when you sent it off, yeah. did, you, did you like go, oh, you know, like, were you worried about it? Were you thinking about it? Oh, night and day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I worked on it for two weeks, like uh-huh. trying to do the best I could. And, uh-huh. You know, I wanted to impress the man and I wanted to work for him. And, it, you know, it, uh, there's a... Uh, there's a school of thought, you know, you don't give anything away, but mm-hmm. uh, you, you, I don't know, in life you pick and choose who you want to deal true. with, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, and it's so true. I, I give right. stuff away to this day to people yeah. that I either mm-hmm. believe in yeah. or friends of mine, if mm-hmm. I can help them out or yeah. something like that, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll spend some time. Yeah. yeah. So this, I just believed in, Ted was entrepreneurial enough mm-hmm. where he's doing, you know, he's got his own. Uh, he's got his own line of gear. He's got his magazine. He's got his yeah. radio show. He's he's doing a million things at the time, and uh, he just needed artwork here and there. So I mm-hmm. just threw him artwork for like ten years. One day he decided to use one of my pieces as a backdrop. Sent it out to California to so what? They produced it. A year later, they needed some. They got the opportunity to produce uh, Crew Fest Two, but oh. they the people that were doing it needed an artist to create the the way that it looked so they called me up and said hey would you like to work for motley crew mm, and i'm wow. like okay <laughs> <laughs> who yeah. right so i mean uh yeah and, uh, her name's megan and she owns so what and uh her and i are you know we're buddies to this day and she you know we do business that's been i don't know 10 years ago have you guys met megan yeah she's actually okay. i actually worked i was there I don't even know what the title is, but I used to go, I used to produce or uh, prep all the files for production. They actually set me up in Michigan where I would rip the files in my studio in Michigan, rip it in California and send it to the printer in California. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Take so, wow. yeah, it was it was a cool setup. <laughs> you know, I don't yeah. do that for them anymore, but we still do a lot of business together mm-hmm. with friends. And, you know, I can't say enough good things about them. And they are I mean, this company, if you, whoever you want to mention, I don't care if it's J-Lo or the mm-hmm. Super Bowl or whoever, so what? 90% that, of the time, that's, that's, who they, that's wow. who's doing their, wow. if it's just a blackout drape behind somebody or if it's a huge kabuki that mm-hmm. falls before the show or, you know, mm-hmm. the digital backdrops or the swags or whatever it is, mm-hmm. you know, they are, they're the primo company, wow. you know, in the world. So Now, let me ask you this. Yeah. So when you... Did you um, say that to Ted when in front of a group of people, hey, yeah. I'm an artist? Yeah. <laughs> Did you think, though, that he would call you? And... No. <laughs> yeah. well, what made you say that? Because I said it to anybody who would stand oh, you still. Did? Oh. Yeah, anybody. Wow. I mean, There's the answer. There we go. <laughs> right there. Wait a minute. That's the I can, secret. Oh, well, hold on. I'll draw, and yeah. I can do, and I'll do this and do that. Really? And, yeah, I'll, anybody who would sit still, you know, I need mm-hmm. to pursue this. So you weren't intimidated, or you didn't think, you didn't say to yourself, oh, I'm sure he's got an artist. Why would I even bring that well, actually, up? Or, actually, the reason I went up to him and said that is because I knew that 
he was using one piece of art in the back of his magazine over and over and over again. That's, oh, it was a you researched it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I got his magazine, and uh -huh. I saw this, and I got another, and it was the same piece of art, mm -hmm. and I got another, yeah. and it was the same piece of art. I'm like, oh. hell, I'll draw you something different every month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, listen, I'll do this, and um, and it worked out. You and know? that so, took you and all. Yeah, well, it, yeah, so then, yep, it was just that. And I've, I've done that a few times. It wasn't just... Like uh, one guy needed a cartoon, uh, a character developed, and he stopped into a service bureau that I used to use in Royal Oak, uh, and I created this character called Grady Lakes. Well, he ended up being the marketing director for the world's largest seatbelt and airbag manufacturer. Oh, wow. wow. Marketing directors need artwork. <laughs> so wow. we're buddies now. So I wow. started, you know, I mean, but it was... I actually gave away this character and for like a percentage of the rights to it. Mm -hmm. And um, so I gave it away and uh, we became friends and he started throwing me work. And the next thing you know, I mean, he's paying my bills righteously for like a decade. Wow. Uh, you wow. know, doing uh, things like uh, I designed, I don't know if you remember the car called the Durango. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the steering wheel, the little center part where mm -hmm. the, the, the airbag is on the other side. There's a seat, there's a little line in there called a tear seam. And the, the shape of that, I designed that for, wow. or I did the first renderings that went to Dodger mm -hmm. that, that uh, uh, ended up being that centerpiece, which is, you know, a little odd thing, but yeah. I ended up designing steering wheels and, wow. uh, Amazing. you know, yeah. crazy. Just from saying, hey, yeah. I do yeah. artwork. Yeah. Yeah. Did you open your, you know, I always say people That's can't buy what they don't know exists. True. Wow. Right. 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 Like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. is yeah. key, awesome. though. You said it all the time, yeah. and it didn't matter to who. Right. Yeah. You know, there's so Just many of us. Going. She's looking at me. <laughs> She's looking right at me. Well, no, yeah. but think about it. Yeah. Like, uh -huh. I'm afraid even to you say, as a I'm hairdresser, a would yeah. you, if you saw Lizzo, would you say, hey, I'm a hairdresser. I could do your hair if you uh, need. Probably not. Right. That's what I mean. Most yeah. of us would never nope. say anything. I think, we I, think I would now. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would You got to do the WWJRD. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, what would John <laughs> Rios do? Yeah. Run your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Like that. We do right. try to sell. We don't not try, but we do tend to sell ourselves short at times. Yes, mm -hmm. you know. Like, yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah like yeah. I, I find it easier to to sell somebody else. Oh, one hundred percent. You know. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. But, for sure. Yeah. But look at what it did for you. Just getting in the habit of telling people mm -hmm. what you do and exactly. not not making up their mind for them right. and just doing it yeah. changed everything. And look at what you're doing today. That's so how long did it cool take you before you quit your job? Uh, that afternoon. That you, were able, <laughs> yeah, that you were able to take care of everything. Uh, everything. That was 91. I quit having a day job in 96. So. Okay. Oh, okay, so it wasn't oh. like right away. No, right it's pretty, yeah. cool. pretty quick. Yeah, that was yeah. quick. Yeah. And there was a lot of fortunate circumstances, mm -hmm. you know, right. that made that a uh, made that possible. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, it's just one day it was just like, okay, it's time to just do this full time. And, mm -hmm. you know, and after enough time, I mean, there's so many pitfalls being self-employed and yeah. so many, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, if you, if you knew what was coming, you'd be too scared to try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. But, <laughs> right. but in the, in, in, when you're in the fire, you're so busy. Yeah. And, you and the next thing you know, yeah. one day is two and two days right. is 20 and 20 days is two years. Right. And what, you look back and you're like, where did the time go? <laughs> <But> <laughs> yeah. Don't did you think too, but uh, being a, being an artist, that's mm -hmm. kind of like your mindset. You don't tend to look at all the little tiny details. Mm -hmm. You look at right. the big picture first right. and you're like, oh, right. I could do this. And then you get into it and you're like, oh, yeah. God. Yeah. You know, right. what a, I think that's a mindset of an artist. Mm. Right. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. That you, you, know? you know, you jump into it and then you realize like, oh, I didn't think about this, I, which is probably a blessing and a curse at times. Right. Mm. I, I guess. I mean, I, yeah, you know, you learn enough, you make enough mistakes that you learn enough skills along the way. Right. That sooner or later you just are able to draw on it. But right. I, I, you know, I, I've been doing it so long. Yeah, I guess I've forgotten. Yeah, you know. Mm. Do you ever turn down a job? I just did on the way down here. It? Oh, you wow. did? Yeah. Yeah. Some lady wanted me to start a job at one o'clock in the morning. Ooh. Doing I do caricatures. Right. Uh -huh. Which we're going to talk about that. Yeah. yeah. I, so I'll come to your office or mm -hmm. or your backyard or you know mm -hmm. your hotel or wherever you're having a party and do draw guests. Mm -hmm. Some lady I got an opportunity on the way down here. I was sitting in the car just before I came in and. 
I'm like, I don't want to go out at, you know, leave the house at midnight right. and start oh working at one o'clock in the morning at a kind party. Of party is really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I just don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no it was, it's a, one of those like a high school after prom type of thing. Oh. Oh. Okay. oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. wonder like he doesn't. Like an all night party or whatever. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I, I'll do those, but I like them to start before midnight. Yeah. 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 I've done it at midnight. Yeah. I didn't even well, go to my high school. About 7.15 would be perfect. Yeah. Tell us. Tell us. Tell a story about uh, the character drawings that you did, and you were invited, um, but they didn't tell you who you oh, were going to do yeah. it for. Yeah, so I, I uh, one of my agents called me and said, "Listen, I've got a, I've got an opportunity for you to do a party at the Fox Theater. Well, it's real, it's real hush hush. They're not telling us who the client is, but can you do it?" And I'm like, "Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll go. It's the Fox. It's you know, I'll go." So I get there and I get out of my car and. Go up to, they had me go into the side stage door there, and uh, there's like five guys standing out there with the Armani suits and little earpieces, you know, and the, the walkie talkies and whatever. And I'm like, who in the <laughs> heck is this for? You know, so I, I go up to the door and they're like, don't pull out your phone, don't take any pictures, don't ask any questions. Mm-hmm. And then wow. I go in, yeah, so I go in and the guy kind of repeats it, and then he walks me over to these chairs. In the Fox, in this, it's not the main concourse area, but like a room that's kind of beside there that kind of looks like it mm-hmm. uh, that I've never seen before. But uh, at any rate, um, I'm, I'm there for a few minutes, and the host of the party shows up with these pretty girls, and he's like, can you draw them? And I'm like, sure, it's, it's not my start time yet, mm-hmm. but who am I, you know? Yeah. I'm having a good time. So I'm drawing these girls, and I'm like, hey, who in the heck is this party for? What's going on? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> So the, the, you go, you don't know? I go, no, who is it for? And he says, this is a par- private party for the Rolling Stones. Oh, wow. So like 10 minutes later, I look over to my right, and there's Mick Jagger. Wow. And so he, oh like, he's gosh. talking to somebody over here, and I'm drawing somebody. And the next thing I know, I look up, and Mick is walking up to the people I'm drawing, and I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> and so I'm drawing, you know, and he's BSing with them, and then he stops and comes around and watches me draw for a little bit. Oh, wow. Then, oh, my. Oh my gosh. And then, you know, and it was uh, the nicest, most gregarious uh, member of that band was uh, Ronnie Wood. Okay. He, he came up. Ronnie Wood waited in line for me to draw him with his wife. Wow. Waited really? in line for me. Then he walks up, he shakes my hand, you know. Wow. And then he sits down with his wife and we're BSing and what have you. Then he gets done. He liked it. He gets done. He stands behind me most of the night watching me draw. Wow. wow. He was really? Just mesmerized was that, by was that nerve-wracking for yeah, you? Yeah, it was. Like, it was for me. I feel like I would have been like, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was more nerve-wracking yeah. drawing. He's an actually, he's a, quite a, an accomplished artist. He's wow. Quite, oh, um, yeah. okay. So it was, you know, oh. I think he was like maybe interested in, you know, what I was doing, mm-hmm. but the, the, maybe the materials I was working mm-hmm. with or whatever. I don't know, but. You know, he's, he, I, I, I'm not going to put words in his mouth, but I'm assuming yeah. he's a fan of art, period. Right. So, uh, wow. but he, yeah, so, and at one point, Ronnie Wood and Keith are behind me goofing <laughs> on the people I'm drawing. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sitting there going, man, I just fed my goat an hour ago. <laughs> How in the heck did I get here? Dude? So then at the end of the night, do you send yeah. all the artwork with? Uh, everybody, when I draw somebody, put it in a bag, hand it to them, and it's mm-hmm, theirs to do, do whatever. Yeah. You know? okay. the, actually, the only proof I have that that actually happened, there's a guy named Jason Magic, who's a friend of mine, he's a magician. He was there entertaining them. He oh, made wow. such good friends with them that he got the whole royal treatment with the backstage passes at the show. Wow. And, wow. But, and, uh, but, uh, and then Sally Wood, uh, wrote to me on Twitter the next day. Uh, oh, so wow. I, I did a screen grab of that. No, really, it happened. Yeah. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there's no That's pictures. So right. No, wow. yeah. right. Now, do you um, do you keep copies of, like, the drawings that you do for the stage sets? Like, Oh, yeah, I've got... I mean, do you think you'll ever come out with a book? Mm. A you know, I had a... Book? I had, yeah. you know, people, a lot of people have said, you should come up with, like, a coffee table book. Yeah. Oh, my God. I you know? That would be yeah. so cool. I do, too. I don't know, I don't know what all the rights... Uh, oh, right, right. You know, uh, implications of that yeah. would be. Right. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, if it's a compilation of everybody, can any one person get mad? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Right. But uh, I, I did think of doing like a show or something, and I, I thought it'd be oh. cool to do something like something called like after show. That would oh. be so where, oh my God, cool. I want like that. I get like the artwork printed and just show it, okay. you know, because to me, like here's here's an interesting that, uh, thing that happened. A buddy of mine went to a concert, 
And I couldn't make it to it. And so I said, oh, what'd you think of the show? We're talking about it. I said, so what'd you think of the backdrop I did? And he said, what backdrop? Oh. And I go, <laughs> so I went and found a video <laughs> at Pine Knob. And it's from the grass. And all you can see, you can't see the artist. All yeah. you can see is the backdrop. I'm like, wow. this backdrop. <laughs> oh he didn't even, but that was, yeah. I learned something really valuable at that point was that when I'm doing my job really well, it becomes integrated and in mm. part of the show. Yeah. You know, so yeah. it's not, a. it's not, yeah. I, I was like offended for two seconds because yeah. I spent like, <laughs> you know, three weeks working on this piece yeah. of art. Get that but artist then, off the yeah. stage. Yeah. <laughs> Look at what I did. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, then I realized, you know, that's not, it's not about that, you know. So yeah. when I'm doing my job really well, it's like, it's just part of, you know, it's just how that artist looks this time around. Yeah. You know, so. Okay. Who now, do you deal with when they um, call you to? Uh, I deal, I deal like with. Like, is it a creative team? Or? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot. Of, I deal with more and more set designers. Mm-hmm. Like, there are, there are a nucleus of designers that are just the cream of the crop. I mean, they're working with everybody from Metallica to Florida Georgia Line to, wow. you know, whoever. I yeah. mean, country, rock, rap. And, yeah. I mean, I deal with, uh, the, uh, he's not a friend of mine, but we're acquainted, uh, the president of Def Jam Records. Uh, really? Paul Rosenberg. Mm. Yeah. Oh, really? Yep. Well, he's from Michigan, isn't yep. he? Yeah. Yep. Wait, so, is he the president of Def, Def Jam? Jam? He is now for the last four years. Wow. wow. Really? Yeah, four or five years you now. You didn't know so, that, Jackie. No, but I didn't. I've had lunch with him a few times, and mm-hmm. we went over... I've, did a couple of probably I've worked on three sets for Eminem now. So <gasps> wow, really? Yep. Yeah, that's I, uh, crazy. The first one I did was uh, a, a few years ago, and I literally, I, Denise, God bless her heart, I'm sitting there getting ready to go to lunch with Paul Rosenberg for the first time, meet him for the first time. Wow! And I've got all these designs in my head going, Oh God, what do I do? And she goes, Just go with the first one. <laughs> <laughs> so I go, She's so, right, <laughs> right. Yeah. So she did. I'm like, Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So, so I draw. I got some mm. vellum paper it's really kind of see-throughy mm-hmm. paper and i drew this stuff went to a restaurant in birmingham met paul and i said this is my idea this is the concept and he's like cool let's go with it wow it, it was just pencil sketches basic i mean that's kind of ad libbing but it mm-hmm. kind of went that smooth i went out in the car and just you know and i kept hearing that song lose yourself in yeah my head. yeah <laughs> like this, you get one <laughs> shot don't blow yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> wow so uh but i came up with this concept where it was like a double e concept so mm. like it was the the ramps were one e and the the, the video screen was another e so it kind of did oh, this oh, okay. cool. but the middle prong of the the the, the kicker was is that we had this kabuki and i came up with an idea of having this fake m&m kind of show up on the screen with light mm. the kabuki comes down there's no M&M. And mm. everybody's already screaming because they can see, see the visage of him. Yeah. You know? So he, he's not there. And then the kabuki goes down and you can see the band and the two E's and the lights are going crazy. And all of a sudden, the center prong of the E opens up and he runs out of there. Wow. And, wow. and, the, and the crowd just goes. <laughs> <laughs> so you come up wow. with that, that whole. whole yeah. That concept is all mine. Wow. So, wow. so I. See, I'm not that's gonna look I've, at anything. I'm yeah. all gonna be different now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna wow. be paying attention. Yeah, well, and I've worked on I've worked on three for him now. I've, I've become more known for the last one. He got a different designer, but an aspect of the show was too expensive to ship all over Europe. Mm-hmm. So they brought me in to uh, modify the design so that they could ship it across Europe without having three semis. Just wow. have one semi. Wow. So they had me develop, uh, redevelop a part of it, you know. And I mean, you know, so that's like that's not just art though. That's engineering. Right. And, and you know, know that's you yeah, gotta cool. you gotta think about a lot of stuff. You know, it's yeah. It's only a slightly empty up there. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's I just I try to think. I yeah. I learned something doing automotive called reverse engineering. Oh yeah. Mm. So uh, so you, you think of what the end result you want, yeah. mm-hmm. and, and then, then you go, back. how do I get there? Uh-huh. Yeah. And I learned that doing automotive. Okay. You know, yeah. I wow. learned how to think that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's not you know that I'm so great. It's just that I kind of worked. I got opportunities that all kind of pile up to work into several different, mm-hmm. you know. Things, opportunity, or how we said, different. I don't know. Yeah, but I think I think too though the elements and principles of design and art yeah. you just intrinsically know. Like you don't right. you don't have to think. You think about them, but they just kind of intrinsically flow from you, and so that that all works together mm-hmm. for your advantage because you just. 
that's how your brain goes. And yeah, not everybody's brain goes like that. Right. Yeah. He's I've like, never yeah, thought of, I guess. I, I, I never thought of it then. But that, that <laughs> sounds you. really cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gina, with a G. Yeah. Yeah. You with a G. You're welcome. Silent G. <laughs> um, no, that's how I sound fantastic. Yeah. That way. <laughs> so, so now, do you do you do you mentor? Or would uh, you would you mentor? Uh, you know, somebody I, I somebody got a hold of me uh, the other day. Mm-hmm. I, I do. I have taught a class or two on how to draw caricatures and stuff. Somebody got a hold of me the other day and said, "Listen, I've got this. Uh, I know this guy who's going to college over at Kendall in Grand Rapids, and he really wants to do album covers, you know, for mm-hmm. for a living." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, I'll be happy to talk to him, but I kind of want to do album covers. Yeah. For <laughs> you know, what am I going to tell yeah, him? Yeah. You know, but get uh, out of here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. you, you mm-hmm. can't you see that. I think that's a little bit. It's a little bit backwards thinking to me is to think about. Oh, I just want to do the cream because mm-hmm. an album cover is cream. Right. Mm-hmm. You you gotta. It's more about the process and being part of. There's so it's many the aspects, thing, right? yeah. you know, and, and if you're more interested in the work, because I'm more interested in the work, I'm mm-hmm. more interested, instead of meeting like Mick Jagger, I want to meet, you know, the guy that works for Mick Jagger that designs all this stuff mm-hmm. or, right. or whoever, you know, I, I right. my heroes are like Butch Allen and, you know, uh, uh, the Trask House guys and, and uh, you know, Travis Shirley. And I mean, these guys are the guys I want to have lunch with because these are the guys that are geniuses beyond anything I could ever imagine to come up with I don't know coffins hanging from the ceiling and crazy yeah. things that you know just I'd never right. imagine and and just to be a, just to like soak in mm, their yeah. genius that's the people that I work with and I want to work with more and be around more and mm-hmm. you know because it's just I mean their brains are just fascinating mm, I mean it's yeah. one thing I, I love music and artists are great and mm-hmm. musicians are great, but these people behind them that make them fresh mm-hmm. and new every year, every tour. Right. Wow. Right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You know, yeah. that's a really good point. Yeah, you know, the, the girl, the young lady we met last night. Yeah, we she told was, her to listen yeah. today about we Do told you remember her, about her name? You. No. Yeah. Okay. I just know she, she worked with metal. I was intrigued by yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, yeah, and mm-hmm. she's trying to make it as an artist, mm-hmm. and okay. we told her about you, so yeah. we said you got to listen to <laughs> this today. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> but you you also do have a good side hustle with the characters. I mean, yeah. That, okay, it fills in the gaps. You know, mm-hmm. uh, uh, you gotta. It, you know, it's like it's like the pizza delivery guy. You know, mm-hmm. nobody's ever mad when he shows up. Yeah. You know, <laughs> he's got true. that pizza. Yeah. It's hot. It's on that time. The ingredients are right. Yep. I'm yeah. that guy, you yeah. know. I it's uh, right. I'm that guy. I'm delivering the goods. Yeah. And then nobody orders pizza for a long time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, they want this other stuff. Well, <laughs> I had to figure out how to make tacos, which is the caricatures yeah. and, and, right. and whatever else, you know, to to make sure that there's cash flow all the time, right. you know, cuz I'm li- you know, I'm a hired gun. I mean, I'm I'm the flavor of the day. I'm awesome and then uh, I have to call my own phone to make sure it's still working. <laughs> 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 what what's been the um, maybe I don't know if I would say the highlight because uh, you, you've had quite a few uh. highlights but like what what's been the the one project that you just sat back and went I can't believe I just did mm-hmm. that uh I still I mean growing up I was the hugest Kiss fan ever and I mean I dressed up like them and all that so every time they play that song Black Diamond towards the end of the show and the <laughs> drum riser comes up and those cats that are on the drum riser, and that's my design on there. I, I, I took some really bad old photographs of what they had before and reinvented the, or redid the cats that they use on that drum mm. riser. So every show, no matter where they are in the world, when that song plays, wow. and, 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 the, and the, the, those cats never had stripes before. It was always just plain. Mm-hmm. And it's a long story how I came to that, but I gave those cat stripes mm. and now the drummer uses my design on his uniform on his, on wow. his clothing now wow. too so i mean that's just to me being a kiss fan from a little kid but i mean there's so many uh there's just so many uh opportunities that uh just i mean just blow my mind i'm like holy crap i can't wow. you know you'll read an email and it has you know this band's name fleetwood mm, mac or wow or, i mean whoever you know yeah. i'm just like and it's to me it's more the old guys you know as as opposed yeah. to the who 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Gina with a G. Yeah. <laughs> with a G. Well, as, a, as a student in school, did you were you artistic? Did you yes. you know were you a doodler and yes. drawing? And your mm. teachers like pay attention. I had a I had Put to do down. I had to do a written <laughs> test in a gym class once. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my in God. gym class, <laughs> right? Oh, right. So I, yeah. So I drew, I drew my teacher as a cyclops with the one fang oh. thing <laughs> <laughs> in the corner and said, "This is you." <laughs> I got in trouble for that. Yeah. I was like fourth grade, oh, you know. Like but <laughs> fourth grade, that's awesome. I went into. Um, I had a teacher named Mr. Train, and so we have five minutes between classes. While well, my one class to go to Mr. Train's class one day was two, three steps. I had. Four and a half minutes left, so he had a whiteboard. I walked in there and I did a caricature of him blind. Oh my <laughs> driving gosh. a train with like three or four of the kids. Wow. And, wow. and he, he left it up for the whole class. He did? <laughs> yeah, he left it up for the whole class. But uh, you know, uh, yeah, I I Mr. Kemmler, God bless him, uh my art teacher in high school, uh he he really taught me about a lot about discipline and uh paying attention to detail. He did these mm-hmm. He does these train paintings, and he actually builds steam engines and whatever, and puts paintings on them. And oh, wow. uh, he's just—he uh, was a great uh, influence to me. Uh, but uh, uh, I forget where were we going with this. <laughs> <laughs> I was just asking you about like if there was a time where you just sat back and were, uh, but you said kiss. Was, yeah, that's that was. yeah. I mean, there's been so many. Uh, I just. I, I, you know, when I'm on stage, like I was on stage uh, with the Bare Naked Ladies last year with a buddy of mine, and I'm like, uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm behind everything, and we're watching the show back there. Anytime I get to uh, do, uh, you know, I guess, I don't, I don't know. They're all, to me, it's one experience. You mm-hmm. know, it's not just one artist. They're all, I guess, every day. Is, is a different yeah, artist, it's like, a different I get experience. to do this. It's all like, holy yeah. crap. Mm-hmm. Especially if I have like a job. I'm doing a job right now where I might have artwork on the stage for a double headliner stadium tour. Wow. Yeah. So it's like I, I know that one band is touring right now with my artwork and I'm creating artwork for the other band and they're coming together to do a, a, oh, a really? national yeah. um, heavy metal double headliner. Let's guess. Oh, wow. Uh, well, I'm working on it right now. I don't really want to. Yeah, I'll tell no, you afterwards. I, no, I, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say right now, but yeah. it's it's like I might mm-hmm. have artwork on the stage for a double headliner heavy metal stadium. Wow. wow. Yeah, that I'm, cool. That's amazing. So both bands with my artwork on it. I, oh, I, my God. Yeah, I know. I'm, How yeah. cool. I know that I've worked for both of them or am working for both, but I don't know yeah. if the first band, the one band, I don't know if they're going to continue using what I did for them. They're using it right this minute. Yeah. But if they're going to yeah. continue for this this uh the summer or not so that's when, exciting. so yeah. so when they call you yeah. and and for example tell you an artist that you're not that familiar with do you yeah. listen to the music yep. to try and get an idea you do immediately mm-hmm. i go to youtube oh you do yeah go to youtube mm-hmm. figure out who they are try mm-hmm. to get a vibe you know off okay. them. uh you know f- feel out who who they are what they're i did a really cool backdrop here a month or two ago for a band called murder by death and it's real. I know, <laughs> but if you can imagine, okay, David Bowie and like Gene Autry getting together, <laughs> wow, and and doing like story type music, wow, and and a little bit of of a flogging Molly kind of a f- flavor, but cowboyish and spaceish. Oh wow! <laughs> wow. So I did this really cool, like it was almost like a wallpaper type. Of thing uh, that has birds and plants and a snail and uh, just all this weird stuff and uh, I haven't actually seen any photography of it yet, but the the the, the concept of it was really cool. And what was really cool about that whole process is I kind of had to phone interview to do it. So they asked oh. me, they asked me, well, what kind of artist are you? You know, because we want mm-hmm. this particular look, and they sent mm-hmm. me photographs of stuff they liked. And I, I had to think about it a minute because, like you say, I'm doing caricatures, I'm doing this, I'm mm-hmm. doing that. I had to tell him, you know, my answer to him was, I'm a problem solver. Mm-hmm. You oh, know? Wow. good answer. Wow, that's a yeah. really yeah. good answer. Wow. Yeah. I, well, that's, I didn't. I, I bet they've I, never I, heard that no. from <laughs> an artist. Right. But I had, to, I had to, it's been so hard for me to, dis- that's the worst thing about what I do and who I am, is it's such a mouthful to tell you. Right. You know. 
Right. You should hire me because I can make all your problems go yeah. away. <laughs> Basically. Wow. You know, but uh, yeah, I, I, that's the answer I gave them. And I don't know where that came from. I'd never said it before, mm-hmm. but it sounds like I'm a little full of myself, I guess. But I <laughs> they, they hired, hired, they hired me. And the job. backdrop is you probably know you're one good of my at what favorites. You do. Oh, yeah. wow. It is so cool. It turned out so cool. I can't wait to. I'm going to. They're going to be at St. Andrews here shortly. Oh, really? Oh, yep. Oh, yep. wow. Yep. And uh, you do posters and everything else. Because uh, I remember yeah. you did the VIP posters for Jason Eldeen. Yeah. Couple, yeah that was. Uh, that was. That guy, his name is Chris. Uh, he works. He's uh, like Jason's right hand man down at i think spalding entertainment he calls me every so often and i try to do stuff for jason and you know i i uh yeah it's just it's cool to get opportunities like that and uh um i get uh you know it's not too often I, i'm doing some work with uh, uncle cracker right now mm-hmm. with some merchandise and stuff okay uh, most of my stuff is on stage uh but you know i'm like uh, he actually yesterday he sent me a text and he copied in his management and his management also manages Fleetwood Mac. Oh, wow. So, so I I have worked with Fleetwood Mac before. So, wow. you know, so the the circle gets smaller and smaller mm-hmm. and smaller and the other day I got a Can you tell him to bring Lindsay Buckingham back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell any. I know. I I'm, can't. Remember I'm the pizza delivery <laughs> there, <you know? laughs> Remember Jackie? Yeah. <laughs> uh, literally, I mean, the, you know, it starts here with the artist and then it goes to somebody with concept and it goes down and down and down. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm the, or it doesn't go down any farther. It goes back, <laughs> you know, because I, I bring it to, yeah. you know, I have to, you know, I don't yeah. have anybody to go to. I have right. to make it happen. So. Right. Yeah. What, so. in, in this process and in the, in the stages that you go up and down, up and down, what's the most surprising um, piece of information that you've learned over time about this whole process? I don't want to deal directly with the artist. Mm. <laughs> okay. I don't want yeah. to, I don't necessarily want to meet them or I just, because people, if their artists are very, uh, well, they're very protective, rightly so, of mm-hmm. their persona, who, who they, and if they start to, I'd rather have somebody else get the brunt of what they like, don't mm-hmm. like, what they hate, you know, mm-hmm. any attitudes. Yeah. And they, right. You guys do that. That's great. You come back, water it down a little bit. Tell me, <laughs> tell me what's wrong. Water it down. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. sometimes they're like, Rrr. yeah. I mean, I've been on the phone like with uh, uh, a band called Ghost. Uh, okay. The yeah. lead singer. I've I've been on two different tours. I've had conference calls with with him and some other people, and mm-hmm. you know, building their concept and stuff. And he's cool. But, uh, you know, and I've dealt directly with Nikki Six a few times, oh, wow. you know, once or twice here and there. And, uh, uh, you know, I've dealt with, uh, you know, Tommy Shaw uh, from Styx and, wow. uh, you know, obviously mm-hmm. Nuge. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, um, I, I don't know. I don't necessarily want to. I like I like the little mystery, the little buffer between me and mm-hmm. the artist yeah. itself mm-hmm. because. Yeah. I don't need to have, if they're in a bad mood, I don't need that to interfere with what I'm trying to do. You know? Right, right, so, right. Yeah, because I, I would imagine, yeah, that yeah, would also affect, yeah. you know, you, your creativity. Puts a little, little yeah. yes in the background. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little finger. A little finger, you know, like. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the little mermaid. They right. do some, like, you know, whatever in the backdrop. Someone got pissed off. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're the one person they should be nice to. Yeah, yeah. yeah really. You know, I, I went to a, um, uh, Tom Joyner. He had a uh, he does a family reunion um, tour thing that where they raise money for college students. Mm-hmm. And there was a character character lady there, mm-hmm. and she was drawing butts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what? So I had my butt drawn. Did- <laughs> oh, good Lord. You did? What? That's yeah, what she was that. doing. She was drawing yeah. butt. Really? There yeah. was a guy that was pretty getting pretty famous over in Chicago doing that. I want my uh, butt drawn. I, I want my, I want <laughs> my butt it was, When I yeah. saw it, I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't like that angle. That's right. not my good side. Yeah. All right. And, and she did make she, she made it a little bigger than what it was. Uh, but it was, but it was sure taste, she did, but right? It was, <laughs> but it was tasteful. We're going to call you Kardashian. No, I'm Kim. Oh, okay. here <laughs> we go. Her. There yeah. we go. Yeah. No. Oh. Wow. So, what do you see coming up? Um, uh, what do I see coming up? Uh, I want to finish this. I've been working on this backdrop that's uh, that I just told you about for this metal thing for like two and a half weeks to draw. I've drawn about seventy-five percent of one part of it. 
Oh, and wow. it's so freaking intricate. It's just insane. Now, do they give you a time limit? Yes, do, yeah. they do. But uh, they do. As a matter of fact, I'm I'm sitting here like hoping he doesn't call. <laughs> 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 Oops. <laughs> Remember, we are Facebook Live. Right? <laughs> you didn't I'm, do that. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm out of here in a few minutes. Lunch break. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's yeah. Funny. And uh, we, we posted all your links. So yeah. if cool. people want to get a hold of you, sure, right? For do. parties, um, corporate events. Uh, Anything. Yeah. yeah. I'm logo here, design. I've got the email. Yep. It's john at John Rizzo. Rio. 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 I made up your own. Rizzo. Rizzo. Yeah. <laughs> JohnRioDesign.com. Yep. JohnRiosDesigns.com. Yep. Okay. And www.JohnRiosDesign.com. But the email is John at. John at JohnRiosDesigns.com. Designs. Yep. Okay. okay. And then there's an Instagram and Facebook yep. also. Yep. Okay. Yep. There's, yeah. The, um, I, I put caricatures and stage and food on my Instagram. So <laughs> you might see anything there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what's on the smoker today. Up there, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> some so. fortune cookies, how about? Yeah. Well, wait. Yeah. Uh, we actually have some of his artwork with Yay. us. He is the designer Yay. of dope, the dope water, water bottle. here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You know, I was that thinking was about it. This is going to be a collector spot. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I want another I one mine. if I can have it. Can I, <laughs> you can take all these. Can I get mine signed? This yeah. is going to be yeah. collector's oh, item. Oh, get yeah. out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we see? Yeah, you know what? Can I get to this? Oh, I can see them right here. <laughs> yeah. Dope. There we go. Dope. Actually, we'll, we'll get you some, Jim. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Yeah. I just want to put it on yeah. over my desk on yeah. the little shelf I Absolutely. have up there with my bobbleheads. Yeah, and yeah stuff. no. <laughs> you take all these. Oh, I, yeah. I'll, Thank you. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I mean, that's nice. Thank you. Yeah. I just I'm wondering no. one more would be great. Siri, this is a beautiful bottle, and it's going to yes. be a collector's item oh. because John yes. Reels designed yes. this. Oh. Yes. Well, yeah. thank you. Thank you. I was. I was honored to do that. Oh, Thank you. man. If you I, can be anything, be dope. Be, be dope. dope. That's, That's right. right. That's right. No, even um, calling you, though, it was a WWJRD. <laughs> <Where, right? laughs> I got to get t-shirts that yeah. say that. You too. WWJRD. <laughs> what would John Rios do? <laughs> Well, uh, congratulations on you. everything that's going on. So exciting. So cool. And, I, uh, you know, again, when we first met... You were you did the character for John Paul. It was at oh. Kelly's party. Oh. I had no idea who you were. Mm-hmm. You, I knew you were a friend of Kelly's, yeah. and uh, we I had that done for John Paul. Okay. Um, wow. it, yes. Yeah, see, and and then <laughs> somebody. Me, where's so, mine? It was graduation. I time. don't want to hear it. We'll and have to so hook you up. You graduated <laughs> too. He, he, I don't want to hear it. I'm sitting. I don't timer. know him at that time. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, no, but I remember. I I don't know who it was started saying oh you know what he does and i'm like wait a minute what this guy right here are you kidding (laughs) you're just so cool oh well were you standing behind him staring no i i I, kind of remember that day yeah i i I know what you're talking about thank you yeah well thank you i uh yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Right? So when I learned who you were, I took it back from John Paul because I thought it was going to be need this. It's yeah. in I took liver. all the time. It's in the vault. It's in the vault now, yeah. right? Yeah. It's in the vault. In the along vault. with the dope bottle. Uh, I used to have an employee. She used to, at the end of the day, she go through the garbage and pick out my throw. Yeah, throw no throw. kidding. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna check eBay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah we're right. Kidding. Right. Well, thank you for being here thank today. You so Congratulations much. on everything. Yes. Thank you. Thank and, you. Thank uh, you. We just gotta Toss wrap it cookies. up with our our fortune cookies. Okay. You are you are dope. Well, you are God dope, bless man. you. And likewise, so are you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. So we got fortune. We got fortune. We have fortune. Yes. Oh, now cookies. these are special. These are yeah. special. So th- they were supposed to be for last week, but Valentine cookies didn't arrive on time. Okay. Amazon tried, but. Anyway, so Valentine fortune cookies. Mm-hmm. That one's Dave's. This one's yours, Dave. Oh, did Gina with the yeah, G? Yeah, yeah, Gina with the G. There's some right here. Gina with the that, G. This is mine. Okay, okay so there we go. Let's see. How are we going to end this? WWJRD? Yeah, WWJRD. <laughs> when you WWJRD. When you WWJRD. But what's the main takeaway here? So if you had one piece of advice to give to Mm. an aspiring artist, musician, business owner, whatever, what would it be? Uh, Put in the work. Don't be worried about, uh, don't be worried about the, you know, being the celebrity or being in front of this or 
be more worried about what you can do for somebody else, you know, mm-hmm. to make their life better, easier. That's why people call me is because I make their problems go away. Yeah. That's which is what I told the guy. I'm a problem solver. That's mm-hmm. the kind of right. artist I am. So, right. you know, if, if makes be worried about what you can do for them and then everything will come to you. Right. You know, good well, advice. Yeah. There we go. Advice. Cupid will go straight to your lover's heart this Valentine's Day when you WWJRD. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Go ahead. Anybody? We're waiting on you. Oh, okay. Like, okay, uh, go ahead. What's the wait. earth? W- wait, listen to this one. What's the earth with all its art, verse, and music worth? Wow. Compared with love, found, gained, and kept. kept. When you WWJRD. I don't know what the hell yeah. that's supposed to mean. I don't know, but you. it's music and art. Love so, yeah. will be magical for you this Valentine's Day when you WWJRD. What would John do? Yes. I feel like this was just a big old giant lie. It said your mail will bring news of love this Valentine's Day. No, that's like the new porn. The woman, you know, the woman <laughs> mail delivery lady. She's like, mm, 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 mm. Bone got a special bow wow. delivery yeah. for you. <laughs> I heard uh. you got a package for me. <laughs> Go ahead, Chad. Uh, let's see here. So, somewhere in a forgotten castle, a love <laughs> dreams of you on Valentine's Day. Oh, in a forgotten w- castle. W- 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 <laughs> In a forgotten cast. All right. Mine says, in love and war, don't give counsel. <laughs> I have no idea. W- 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 oh, w- oh, oh, that's a good Does yours really say that? <laughs> yes. And, really and, na- and your national holiday was tug of war. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. No, I think that's a funny. message. I, do I don't too. know. Hey, listen, though. Before we, we wrap this up, I do psyched. have to make a quick announcement. Okay. And I was waiting for John to be here today because yes. since he designed the dope bo- yep. uh, logo, oh. so dope is the creator of a national holiday. We are Woo! in, what? in what? September. Dope is? Yes. And wow. it, yes, they have a national holiday and it's called Sit with a Stranger Day. So we're going to have a really fun day that day. It's, I think, on a Wednesday. So um, so every year there's going to be... Next on A Very Special Criminal Minds. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. No. It's, it's striking no. up conversations, <laughs> mm-hmm. random conversations. Mm-hmm. There's been a lot of science behind. There's a lot oh, of science behind this. it. So wow. yeah, I'll sit with a stranger. No, Dave, we don't... You do that every day. Don't change your day, okay? It's not stranger, stranger danger. danger. No. You never know. It's, it's, Jackie, you do that every day, so it doesn't yeah. I do. I, yeah. I do. And I, I do, too. I'll talk do. to anybody. Yeah. I yeah. love, yeah. I'd love cool. talking to strangers. So, yep. um, well, that's yeah. how... Yeah, this connection. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nobody's stranger, stranger so. than me. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, actually, I'm crazy. It's a so, anyway, okay. Anyway. It's not a real danger. It's just anyway. And sometimes the only mode of transportation available is a leap of faith. Thanks for taking a leap of faith and happy hump day. Happy and thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. you. W W J R D. Yes. <laughs> we need wristbands. Yeah. T-shirts. Yeah. There yeah. yeah. we go. Can you design something for us? I was going to say, us? I know a good artist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A celebrity artist. Oh, oh there you party. Mercy. You can have a celebrity artist at your party. <laughs> We're going to have like, a party just to have a, there you just go. to hire John. I think that's a brilliant idea. Yeah. yeah. Party. <laughs>